you want to pick good music. Night routine didn't get done. The house was clean. The kids cleaned the kitchen, but they didn't put it in the dishwasher. Progress, not perfection. Hello, Paige. in the afternoon it's 1 45 and I'm finally getting dinner in the crock pot this is a freezer meal it's broccoli and chicken alfredo uh, low for six to seven hours or high for three to four I'm gonna do high because um, it is partially thawed and so that'll give it plenty of time by the time we eat we can either have this with pasta or rice I did some thin spaghetti it's all cooked. It smells so good. Mr. Toodles is on his way home from work. <laughs> okay, I put the pasta in the crock pot and now I'm just stirring it. It's going to shred the chicken as I do this. Woo. Oh, I can't wait to eat this, you guys. Seriously, one of our favorite freezer meals, seriously. You got all these big portions of chicken. It's just gonna fall apart. Just gonna put my yum yum yum. The broccoli has pretty much disintegrated, if you're wondering. So you could wait to put it in later, but I don't know. The recipe for this is down below. I think I used frozen broccoli so we'll see how this goes I think the kids will probably like it this way it's all blended in it's like smooth with the alfredo sauce so all right I'm gonna give it a taste see if I need to add any other seasonings to it oh that is so good just add a little bit of salt and pepper some parmesan cheese yum yum so again the link to this video of this freezer meal is down below and that's dinner. Um, I think, oh, I have zucchini and squash. Maybe I, yes, I'm gonna saute that up really quickly. And then we could like fold that into this. So I'm gonna do that. Put it on. You know what I like. Put it on. I am so conscious today. Put on your apron, it matches your shirt. Oh. <laughs> We're just cleaning up, doing our night routine now. And we're going fast at it because grandma and grandpa are coming over. Oma and opa. I'm wearing my new helmet. Woohoo. All right, I need you to wash off that table. I already sprayed it. I'm getting your cloth wet. I'm going to down my All hands on deck. Oh, okay, go. I don't like hot water. Okay, clear that. Shaylee, is it dangerous cleaning the kitchen? Because you've got it's a helmet so on. Hot. It's so hot. The Let's cloth. You like Shaylee's new helmet? They had a bike yeah, bike safety thing at school and today. They they nice. got to bring their bikes and scooters. And yeah. Yeah, bikes and shoulder and big. Yeah. So I'm gonna show. Make sure you just don't rub it. Like really move that around, okay? Any spots you see, get them good. Oma and Opa are here, and they brought Zoe. Zoe. So Paige is so happy to have her friend. Zoe, come here. 
<laughs> all right. All cleaned up. They always bring treats, huh? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Auntie Cory. Oh yeah. Good evening, friends. How are you? I hope you enjoyed our yesterday. So today I'm gonna take you along with me um, as I have gone through some of my cabinets here in my home and I thought I'd share with you what I've done to organize them, declutter them. Uh, I'm going through my kitchen again. I'm a part of a organizing program which I'm gonna share with you soon and we're tackling the kitchen and that's what I've been working on and feels really good. So I've had a busy day today with tutoring with the kids. Um, I have set up some systems into place which I'm going to be sharing with you really soon. I've edited a video, fed the kids dinner, we had tacos, and I've been decluttering my kitchen. So that's what I've been doing today. All in my hoodie and sweatpants. And you want to know what? It feels so good. It feels so good. All right, let me share with you what I've done. I'm starting off in my spice cabinet. Yeah, it's a, a little crowded. There's a lot of spices and there's some that I know I haven't been using. So, and this cabinet here is for glasses, but I use our big cans of spices and it's working really good. Ugh, it's raining, you guys. I'm so over it. It's been so rainy here in Utah. Anywho, so I took down the spice racks and here are all the spices. Um, I'm just gonna go through them, check the dates, taste them because spices do last longer um, they do last long you just got to smell them and taste them and i'm going to be doing that and i think i'm going to be getting rid of some of these mrs dashes in this cabinet i went through and put all the big ones that we use regularly here and then over here um, i put some of the big ones up top that we do use but not like all the time so on this spice turntable are the ones that i do go grab the majority of the time so I'm liking this I love looking in here and seeing that it's not so crowded all these spices we use I did leave some out for Derek to check I'll share that with you in just a minute all right here's all the spices I'm getting rid of I filled up my salt shakers so that could be tossed I have a ton of black pepper I don't need this um, I'm actually going to see if anybody in the neighborhood could use it, my neighbor, because there's a lot. I already have a lot of black pepper. So, um, basil, that's what's left. I already have a new container, so that's trash. Taco, the taco seasoning is empty, and what was left in it I put in the new one that I got from my Costco run not too long ago. This bruschetta seasoning, it's good, but I don't really, I mean, look how much I've used it and I've had this bottle for, I think we're hitting two years. So I'm also gonna see if a friend would like that as well. Butter buds, this I'm gonna ask Derek about. I'm not sure if it's something that he uses. So I'm gonna keep that there and ask him. Garlic pepper is really good. Garlic and, no. Pepper and garlic. It's really good, but I have one new from Costco, and I've had this one for years, so I'm going to toss this. This is what's left of that black pepper, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm just going to toss that. Uh, Tony's. This stuff is so good, but we're out. That's getting tossed. Garlic powder. There was an empty bottle, and I've got a nice big container of garlic powder, so that'll be tossed. Um, I'm going to donate this salt shaker. I don't need it. So there's that. Because um, I already have two salt shakers and two pepper shakers, so I don't need that. This original blend of Mrs. Dash. We've had it for years. I've tasted all of these, by the way. Put my finger in and I taste them. And the rule is if, you know, if it's not potent, or smell just toss it we've had this forever the table blend and it's just obviously not getting full this I have to ask Derek on this chef Paul's magic seasoning blend it's seafood magic but we also have bay seasoning so I'm gonna ask him about that one cream of tartar cream of tartar I don't know what I got it for never use it tossing these rosemary leaves, I have a little one. I already have two rosemary spices in the cabinet. I'll give that one away. 
crushed red pepper. Uh, I had a little bit left and I just added it into the big can, so trash. Uh, lemon pepper for Mrs. Dash. Ground mustard. This is empty, getting rid of it. Garlic and herb for Mrs. Dash. I have other spices that are better right now. I've had these for a while, so toss. Turmeric. I don't even know what I use turmeric for. I am debating if I want to get rid of this or not, but I'm not sure how long I've had this, so I'm just going to toss it. And then I have these really cute shakers that I got from somewhere years ago. The only one that we use is this one that the kids put cinnamon and sugar in for their toast. Even though I have this cinnamon sugar one, they didn't know I had this one. So I'm going to wipe these out and give them to DI and yeah, I don't use them. I like one was made for like Parmesan cheese. Like honestly, you guys never use them. I'm just going to give them to DI. So yeah, clean out your spice cabinet. Go through. If you don't, like I thought I went through my spices um, at Thanksgiving, but obviously I've made some more choices. I don't know what I got rid of. I don't remember. So all right, this feels good. Well, friends, I'm making some microwave popcorn and I'm going to edit and eat some popcorn. Uh, Shaylee had a bath. The, um, Boston is at a young men's activity for church. They're going swimming. Um, they're gonna learn a few things um, for scouts and everything. So he will probably won't be home for another hour and it's eight o'clock. So, um, oh, I do need to dry Shaylee's hair. But uh, yeah, I'm just making a little snack and I'm just unwinding for the night and I will see you real soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Bye. Will you guys look at her? Paige, you're being a good girl, but you're over the line. She's like, but I'm so cute. Look at me. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about you. Come on. Come on.